Well, um, I'll have to differ a little bit from what uh, Ernest said. Yes, okay. I think that <laughs> I think that you know the only way that I could see a tribal nation to survive in the future would be to educate you know it's all I mean it's been done for you know forever it wasn't until recently when you know when the government was formed that it you know stopped or you know had a little jolt in the system you know jumped off track but now you know with educated uh, natives more educated natives out there more PhD natives or just educated natives in general they kind of get away from the whole you know rely you know the colonized kind of mindset re relying on the government for this or that you know when mm -hmm. you've always had it and you know you you know how to take care of yourself you know how to take care of your family you know how to take care of your tribe why not take advantage of it and the connections that we made in higher ed with with institutions such as Cal State San Bernardino and UCLA is you know let's bring them up in house bring all of our tribal tribal children up in house at San Manuel mm -hmm. you know hire if there's if any of our students have any sort of you know trouble with uh, any kind of subject we can bring in you know specialists or whatever is needed to to get get them up and above that but the bottom line is they'll be taught you know with you know the Serrano Serranoized education you know or uh, San Manuel based uh, curriculum from you know pre-k through uh, high school you know 12th mm -hmm. grade or something you know and all why can't you teach them both why can't you have them excel you know in the normal you know so-called uh, academic reality with uh, all the you know tradition traditional cultural you know language values of, of the past you know why can't they f there's an I don't see any reason why that can't work, and and it was right. you know my whole intention is to to uh, start the make the connection with with UCLA and start up the Tilsi program. Um, was what is the Tilsi program? <coughs> it's a tribal learning and uh, community exchange, um, and. Uh, it was trying to bridge a gap between what university students are, what native students at UCLA are, are, are learning there, and what's going on in the reservation, you know, present day. You know, is, you know, why can't they be curriculum developed at the university level for, not necessarily uh, for native students or, or students interested in native issues to learn about, you know, Real issues going on on the reservation in, in, in a fairly, um, cl you know, environment close to San Manuel. So, mm -hmm. build, you know, build students from both ends, but at the university that are there, and build students from the in inside, inside the reservation. Certainly, I, I think that's. Uh, I, I agree that I think that's a good uh, goal. You know, uh, the, the trouble is to have a, a, a rigorous um, system. That that isn't doesn't allow for um, excellence. You know, uh, you have to strive for excellence, and that's that's where the uh, you need the finest teachers and so on, and the curricula also. You could right. you could blend the two. That's fine, um, but not uh, give up on reading and writing <laughs> and and so on. You know. Now, would you be interested in seeing more tribal members? Uh, Entering the field of education as a vocation, Cer becoming teachers, and certainly that it's, there's a need there, and, and there there are fewer teachers. Uh, they, they say there's going to be a shortage for one thing in the future. Uh, why not pay the teachers more and, and make it a, a something that's you look up to rather <laughs> than uh, I, 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 I I'm a musician, uh, uh, but I teach, you know. Uh, that's that's kind of a joke. If you if you if you're a musician, you play and you don't teach. But <laughs> some people end up teaching. You know. right. I, I think many people are in agree with you uh, agreement with you on your views of educators. Certainly, 
Let's briefly touch on some of the programs that are in place now or being developed to ad address gaps and differences in education. Well, Cal State San Bernardino has uh, a program that's been going on for the past seven years. This is our seventh year. It's the California uh, Cultural Awareness Conference. Mm -hmm. uh, that's uh, celebrated the fourth Friday in the month of September. Uh, we bring on uh, for four days about 2,500 uh, elementary, uh, middle school, and high school students. And we also educate uh, the uh, educators on where to find the resources to bring back to their school and how best to teach the students California Native Americans uh, studies uh, history and history uh, culture and uh, government and the program has so far we've got over 20 had over 20,000 students and uh, and 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 um, teachers attend that program then the fourth Friday in the month of September we actually celebrate have a celebration we have the brush dancers uh, and the bird singers in the area those are all California and um, they come down and, and, and we celebrate that day uh, in the evening time on our campus from 6 to midnight 6 to 11 I better say because <laughs> we won't get out of there before midnight right. but we also have a tribal management program which is going to be starting in the fall and this is a certificate uh, program um, and a master's MPA with uh, emphasis on tribal management that'll cover government water resource uh, uh, several other areas uh, that uh, we've been doing surveys on and that's one of the things that we're very interested in getting going. The president supported all these programs. President Carnegie has been supporting all these programs right. along the way. So, right, we're almost out of time. I'd like to just get a quick final thought uh, from each of you, Chris. <clears throat> um. Oh, where to begin? <laughs> <laughs> we know it's a very broad topic. What do you see in terms of the future of, of educational programs? Um, I see huge possibilities, especially since the fact that the money that we have both at UCLA and, and Cal State San Bernardino isn't going to go anywhere. You know, the money is going to be there for a very long time. Um, and only good things can happen out of it. I know that at UCLA, you know, like <clears throat> John was talking about, you know, putting together, you know, curriculum and stuff like that. That's what they're doing at UCLA, actually creating classes from the, they already have classes on the books from, to start teaching students and start bringing students out to San Manuel for, um, you know, college credit, you know, and it's a good thing, you know, and, and they're more than willing to design the class either at a UC level or at a at a level that best suits San Manuel or, or or any other tribe that that uh, you know could be a management you know finance anything you know whatever I know that since the money's there the UC, UCLA is more than willing to uh, assist in any in any way and to possibly. partner with oh, you yeah, definitely yeah definitely. that's what it's all about a partnership mm -hmm. you know thank you Siva <coughs> well um, my uh, emphasis and, and uh, looking forward is, uh, ha has come to uh, form, actually, a nonprofit organization that uh, shares and preserves and teaches. That's, uh, those are our goals. Uh, our culture, history, and uh, art of, of the uh, Indians of the southern region. And um, we, we work out of our homes right now, but we plan a center on our reservation, Morongo Cultural Heritage Center, plan to have a regional museum. Um, and uh, I uh, have been teaching a language, so uh, that is my input. And what I know of our tradi traditional culture uh, is part of that. Uh, but we uh, support all others uh, doing similar things. And in that roundabout way, we're helping um, education as a whole. Uh, we need a lot of players. 
Uh, well, we want to thank uh, the uh, San Manuel Band of Mission Indians for everything that they've done in partnering with our campus. Uh, we also want to uh, thank the tribes in the, not only Southern California, but throughout the state of California who've participated in our programs. Uh, we're, we're just, we just want to continue the partnership uh, and be there where we're supposed to be. Be there for the tribes, be there for the community. And that's that's our that's the campus's goal. The student union, the Santos Manuel Student Union, and the Cross Cultural Center. We're always uh, open to new ideas, suggestions, and uh, our campus as a whole is always there to uh, assist. So. Great. Addressing Native American educational issues benefits tribal members and society as a whole. The fabric of our culture certainly is a patchwork of many different ethnic and religious groups. The educators of the past may have believed the assimilation of all people into a homogeneous group was beneficial to our country. However, today we see the value of celebrating and preserving our own unique cultural identities. Thanks once again to my guests for being here. Very enjoyable discussion. And thank you for watching. Good night. <laughs>